The latest on the Toledo water crisis, and for the third straight day, families are being told not to drink their tap water. Now, this is after new tests overnight shows that toxins are still contaminating Lake Erie. Good Day Columbus reporter Mike McCarthy is live with the help a prison in Pickaway County will now be providing. Mike. Carolyn, good morning. We are here at the Pickaway Correctional Institution where state prison officials say tens of thousands of gallons of water will be going from this prison all the way up to families in the Toledo area. We're told that water is going to come from the state prison system's water treatment plant. It's that building back there straight behind us that we are zooming in on right now. That water is set to be hauled away from here in just about an hour from now. Now, overnight, we have been following these developments very closely for you. Toledo's mayor said that tests done by state and federal authorities, well, they indicated an improved water to quality, but additional testing, he says, is still needed. City officials warned families not to use the city drinking water early Saturday after tests at one treatment plant showed increased levels of a toxin, most likely from algae now on Lake Erie. Families told not to drink, brush their teeth, or wash dishes with that water have been using truckloads of bottled water delivered from all over the state over the weekend. The Ohio National Guard is on hand there right now this morning that is using water purification systems to produce drinkable water. Now, the Pickaway Correctional Institution has already donated about 25,000 gallons of water. More set to be on the headed up to Toledo right around 8 o'clock this morning. We're going to be here as it all takes place, and we'll keep you updated with live reports throughout the rest of the morning. We're live in Pickaway County. Mike McCarthy, good day, Columbus. Mike.